Hi everyone, welcome to today's craft program. My name is Dabney. I'm the Young Adult Librarian with the Twin Lakes Libraries and I use they, them pronouns. For today's episode, we are going to be making a little fidget toy. This is a take-home craft, so that means you'll have a craft bag and a team that's a Mary Benson um, with the supplies you'll need to make this. Um, this is the first time I'm making a fidget toy. I actually was trying earlier to record the video and quickly realized um, I was running into problems, which was that I needed to pick out my beads ahead of time instead of just doing it as I went because I was like, oh, this bead is going to fit. It totally would not fit. There's, It was a lot of things happening with the beads. But this is a simple fidget toy, and I will link the website I found it from because they have other cool fidget toys on there that you can make. So this is, starts out very basic. You're going to have some keychain rings, and you're going to put some beads on there. The one I saw had three beads her keychain and I did some stars because that's fun to me and so I'm just going to be putting the other beads on here hopefully they will cooperate um, so you just got to try to open this ring up if there's a better way to do this I'd love to know um, oh my goodness See, this is what I was talking about. I was like, it's so easy in concept and then trying to get the beads on here. I'm like, this is difficult. Um, but one bead down. Do another bead. So I'm trying to just, yeah, you can kind of work the one bead down. Then make some room for the third bead on here. If you have fingernails, this probably would be easier. Oh my gosh. I might not record all of these things because this is embarrassing. I'm like, I'll just easily do this. Okay, so then you got your beads on there, you're working them around. So they go all through there. Okay, and then you got your first one here. So you can just open up. I'm sorry, this is a terrible video. I'm like, you can just open this up and slide this guy on like you do. I mean, you guys have used keychains, right? This is, this is just like, ah, on my fingers. What? Okay. So the concept is you're just sitting here and you're just playing with this forever. I don't know. I don't fidget like that much. Um, but I see kids here who just they are fidgety um they like to be doing things if you leave like a bucket of beads on the table you will come over later and discover that the beads are all over the place um they're all mixed together we sort our beads okay so i'm like very much like everything has to be sorted in I don't know, by color, by kind, whatever. Um, if you took a look at our perler bead <laughs> bucket, she'd be like, I, I mean, oh shoot, I have like a whole big, so these are like one of the organizers for like the pony beads. Imagine those filled with all different kinds of perler beads. That is how I am. But yeah, anyway, so some of our kids who just like to mess around with stuff, not actually make projects they just like to touch everything which you know is what they like to do so i'm hoping you know we can make some fidget toys and have those around and then it's like you know maybe instead of um messing up our nicely organized beads for funsies you can play with this little fidget toy or you can make your own fidget toy even better that's the goal for to for tomorrow when we're at the library making things um but yeah like i said this is just one idea there are many i like this one it's got a little heart happy valentine's day um and you know you'll just continue linking these together i'm going to do let's see I don't know. I don't know if there's things that you do if you find sitting still difficult. 
um, if you find focusing difficult without doing something, I kind of like to doodle. That's my thing. If I'm in, um, like, I went to um, kind of like a conference recently, and I'm paying attention, but I'm also kind of doodling some things in the margins of my notes. But I am listening because I sometimes have a hard time, like, staring at people while they're talking. I don't know. I just want to, like, not stare at them. This is not working. Oh, no. Fail. Okay, hold on. I have an idea. I think I can get this to work. But, yeah, I just, I'm, like, kind of, like, eye contact, not my favorite thing. Um, so I like to doodle. Anyways, there you go. The heart will not move on this, so it will not go on. It's just stuck. Two hearts down. Um, okay, on the last one, doing okay. I'm also like the type of person, if I am watching something, like I have to just be watching it. I have a hard time like if people want to talk to me while I'm watching something. Like, I can't do it, you know. I gotta be into the movie. Um, unless I've seen it before, in which case, who cares. But, yeah. Especially, like, I like to watch anime, but I have to watch it, like, with the subtitles. I don't know why. It's just how I am. And if you're not paying attention to the subtitles, you don't know what's going on in the show unless you, like, speak Japanese. Oh, so I should have said, like, I like to watch it with the Japanese, you know, voices and the subtitles. Some, you know, then, you know, you've got dubbed anime and sometimes that's okay, but usually I just prefer it the other way. I don't know. Watching it with, like, English dub kind of takes me out of it um, a little bit. All right, that's my final one. It's got a fun, shiny bead on there, and now we're going to try to put them together. Um, anyways, right. do this one. Yeah, I, as I was like looking things up for this, I was reading about like, you know, different kinds of fidget things and different kinds of classroom aids and stuff. And I'm like, you know what? That's great. I think most of the time when I was a kid, it was like you had your pencil and you just would be like, or the pen you got on your finger and you're just like flip it, flip it, flip it. And then inevitably somebody loses control and like the pen flies off somewhere and like hits somebody. Um, it's very amusing. Unless you're the person who lost your pencil, and then it's a little embarrassing, maybe. Okay, we are almost done with this. This is, like, so much. This is a little bit noisier than I was thinking, like, the actual fidget toy. But, you know, maybe you like the sound of beads, like, rattling together. I hope so. This is it. There's a lot going on. This is very fun. Reminds me of those, like, kid maze things with the beads at the dentist office I used to go to you know you'd be sitting there forever like hey, forget you're at the dentist office okay there's a lot going on here and there's going to be even more because I'm going to put one of these 3d printed um charms that we have for the lunar new year it's the year of the dragon this is my year I'm hoping it'll be awesome it's born in the year of the dragon so yeah that is our fidget toy craft um sorry the video was not the best but I hope you can make something cool and enjoy it. Bye.